News of a major development in autism research tonight. Scientists have found dozens of genetic mutations that increase the risk for autism. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez says the findings could lead to new treatments for the brain disorder. Doc. That's right, Maurice and Christine. It's been known that there's a genetic component to autism, but exactly which genes and how many are involved is hard to figure out for a disorder as complex and varied as autistic behavior. Now, a massive international study covering 14,000 DNA samples may be a major your turning point in learning how genes lead to autism. Researchers have now discovered more than 30 genes that contribute to the risk of autism. The study published in the journal Nature found new sets of genes may be involved, including some that control how nerve networks form in the brain. When those genes are mutated, the communication between brain cells is severely affected, such that even the, the basic process of learning and memory is disrupted. Scientists at the Seaver Autism Center at Mount Sinai were among the researchers who conducted the massive study. They were also able to estimate the risks associated with different kinds of gene mutations. They say some mutations came with a more than 20-fold increase in the risk for autism. But the real payoff may be in finding treatments for autism. So when you identify a gene in autism and you know what that gene function is, and you know exactly how the protein affects brain cell connections, for example, you can start thinking about specific treatments, biological treatments, that can potentially reverse the deficits associated with that genetic mutation. Researchers hope their findings will give some optimism to the families of the 1 in 68 children diagnosed with autism in the U.S. Now, the study authors emphasize it's likely that there are many different types of autism, each perhaps with its own complicated combination of these many genetic mutations. The good news is that they may all funnel down to a small handful of ways they lead to autism. Christine? Okay, Dr. Max.